All right, do we have any Muhammadan? Well, who is the Muhammadan? He said he don't agree with me. Who is a Muhammadan when it proved to me that Islam is not a pimp house? Who is a Muhammadan when I tell me what is the difference between any pimp house, all of those who do human trafficking, and Allah and Muhammad? Are you there, Usama? Osama Samhan, are you there, my friend? Do you want to join us? Prove me wrong. Or the only thing you can do is say Shahada. I mean, this guy is just a kid. He say whatever he want to say. All right. 816, go ahead. Yeah. How is Islam? How is Islam? Is how Islam is what? How, 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 why do you say Islam is a dim house? Islam teaches nothing of the such. Islam uh, is just a religion, it's made of humans, so some humans, we are not perfect, some humans might behave in some unsavory way, but does it mean like that Islam, uh, like your generalized CP? Uh, all right, okay. Can you see my screen? Yeah. All right. What is the punishment of prostitution in Islam? Prostitution? Uh-huh. You know what? Um, I'll be frank with you. I have, I have an idea, but I might not be right. But uh -huh. I don't really think um, I don't really think um, the Quran actually states any kind of a punishment for prostitution. Why? Such. Why? Because um, because it's just Allah. Allah is in it. It's, it's like um, um, you, Allah, you always always put a pass about Allah is what? Allah Allah is what? Allah is an idiot. Uh, it's lenient. Lenient, what does that mean? Yeah. Merciful. Ah, but as we see here in chapter 24, verse number 33, Allah is saying that force not your girls to do prostitution if they choose a chastity, which means if they agree, it's okay. No. Read it. Chapter 22, verse 24. Chapter 24. Uh huh. What's the verse? 33. 24. 23. No, 33, sorry. 24. 24, 33. Hold on, let us see uh, this guy, Os Osama. He came before you. Go ahead, Osama. What do you think about... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm new to this Discord thing. Is, uh, no, 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 no problem. No problem. Go ahead. Okay. So, uh, sorry for interrupting. So, what's the subject exactly? Are we talking about slavery? We are talking about the human trafficking business. A human trafficking. Yeah. Okay. Listen, you are talking to someone who's gonna give it to you as it is. To okay. be frank, and I'm not fighting. I'm not ashamed from whatever uh, you you think that I'm escaping from. You have to understand. Back then, when Islam was kind of expanding, it was the Roman Empire, and it was there was the Persian Empire. Uh -huh. I'm not saying that Islam, let me finish, I'm not saying that Islam forbids slavery, there I, was a slavery. I did not talk about, I'm not, I'm not talking about slavery, I'm not talking about slavery. So what you're talking about? I'm talking about you, you using women for sex, business sex, you're in sex, you talk about sex, sex, so sex, sex business, sex, sex business, well, uh, you, you make a woman, you for, you're, you're you, you, you prostitution. Exactly, exactly. What is the punishment of prostitution in Islam? Prostitution is totally forbidden in Islam. Can you, you can you sh can you show me can you show me the reference? Okay. Mm -hmm. You want to speak about the right hand possession? I say it, give me where it says that prostitution is forbidden. You are giving me a verse have nothing to do. Where in the Quran it says a prostitution is forbidden? Is it forbidden in Islam? In Islam, you cannot have uh, intercourse without consent. Like, you have to did your, consent. Did your, to, did, your, did, your, did your prophet have intercourse with, uh, with the consent of uh, Mary the Copt? Uh, you mean the one she freed her people after he married her? No, Mary the Copt is a slave. 
given to him as a, as a get, uh, right hand position. You see? No, no, it cannot because simply uh, the right hand position in the Quran is only the captive of war. Correct? Yes. Exactly. Okay. That's but Mary, Mo, Mary, Mary, the, Mary the Copt is not a captive of war. So Allah never give you permission, neither you, neither Muhammad, to have sex with someone she is not captive of war. So why Muhammad he have sex with her? Listen to me. If you want to talk about prostitution, it's totally forbidden. So don't change topic. Don't change. Don't change. Don't change topic. Don't, don't change topic. Why Muhammad have sex with Mary the Copt? If she is not a captive of war, yeah, yeah, yes. No, she did not enter Islam. And so what? If she is into Islam now, we can have sex with her. Let us say, let us say, for the sake of argument, look, guys, look at this. So if she if she enter Islam, according to you, she now you can have sex with her. You didn't allow me to finish. Uh huh. It's not only. Her, she entered Islam. Her old tribe entered Islam. What tribe? The girl. The, what the tribe, my friend? This girl is from Egypt. What the tribe? She came with her cousin only. <laughs> Two, uh, three. No. Yes, yes. You are, you, you are you are ignorant about your religion. Mary the Copt. You are you are confused about her and other groups. So I'm asking you about okay. Mary the Copt. She is a gift sent to him by Al Mukawqas. Al Mukawqas was a, Ro a Roman ruler. He sent a slave gift like Amazon delivery. Send it to Muhammad. So the Quran allow Muhammad to rape women who he captive at war. Mary the Copt is not a captive of war. There is no such thing killed raping. Yeah, let, let, let us be honest and speak about the stuff with context. Okay. Then you have to understand. Let, let me finish. Let me I will let you finish. Now I'm asking you, are you allowed? Are you allowed in the Quran to have sex with the women? She is not a captive of war. Were practicing in the war itself, and they were captive. Mary the Copt, she is giving a, my friend. Mary the Copt, Mary, you are just a you keep repeating yourself. I just gave you a name, I gave you a name. She is not captured by war, she was sent to him as a gift. You keep repeating the same thing. So now, this guy, the ruler of Egypt, he sent him a gift. According to Islam, are you allowed to have sex with women? She sent to you as a servant. She is not a captive of war. Muhammad was having sex with Mary the Copt, which is not a captive of war. So let me repeat the question again. Is that a pimp house? Is that a pimp? Show me the reference where it says you can have sex with women. You agreed with me, actually. I said to you, Malikat Yameen is the one who is captive of war. You said, yes, you agreed already. So, but Mary the Copt is not a captive of war. So your prophet was he having sex with her. No, he, he never married he her. Don't lie. No, 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 never married her. I can show you tons of reference. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. Do you understand what's marriage in Islam? What? What is what? 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 Do you understand what's marriage in Islam? It, it's a sex trafficking too, because in Islam you can marry a child. You call it marriage. You can do muta. You you you, you, you do muta. You call it marriage. You do as a wife, friend. You call it marriage. Boyfriend, girlfriend, you call it marriage. So listen, I'm asking you, I'm asking you, I'm asking you again. I don't know you are a Sunni. Sunni, they do muta too. Who said they don't do? We don't do muta. Is it, isn't it the muta from the Quran? We don't do muta. Isn't it the muta from the Quran? No, we don't do muta. No, no, isn't it the muta from the Quran? Yes or no? Show me the content. Show me the. You are saying to me you are a Muslim, but you do not know. Educate me, please. Uh, okay, here we go. This is the Quran, chapter chapter four, verse number twenty-four. Read it for me. Which uh, three on which one? Number ten or eleven? Which chapter four, verse number twenty-four. Man, I don't go with numbers. Is it the one which? Anissa, and what do you mean you don't go by number? How you can go? Okay, okay. Should I read it in Arabic or in English? In any language you want, gibberish. I don't care. Give me the answer. You said to me, we don't have muta. We don't have muta in the Quran, but all Islamic Sunni agree. That this is the verse about the muta, chapter four, verse twenty-four. It's not. A, it's not. It's not. My friend, you do not even know how to read. It's not. Well, muhsanat min al nisa. Well, muhsanat. Okay. Yeah. So learn, learn how to read. Learn how to read your Quran from a Christian prince. 
والمحصنات من النساء go ahead I, I don't be aggressive I don't, oh. I, I, I don't do this I like to be intellectual when, oh, when okay. the conversation starts All right. if you're gonna if you're gonna be a child when, when, when this well, I, did I correct you what child did I correct you or not did I correct you or not did I did I correct you yes or no so don't be say, saying child it's you who's a child you claim to have knowledge to answer me yet you do not know how to read even a word well محصنات you repeat the same question the same mistake again <laughs> all right okay go <laughs> also pro uh, prohibited are women already married except those whom your right hand possess uh -huh. thus uh, okay you read it man no no you read it. i'm listening go ahead continue continue no no you read it continue you read it. i don't know how to read go ahead no i i don't want to go into no i am illit i am illiterate okay so so let me ask you let us make it simple does it is it yes. true is it true that this verse according to the muslim sunni and the shia speaking of the muta yeah. you said no in the beginning why you said no yeah now how come if you want to talk about shia even if you want look hold on i mean hold on you said to me you said to me there's no such a thing you said to me just five just three minutes ago three three minutes ago no i allow you i like to read that you know Hold on, sure, I will get it right away. You just, you just, I got you busted. You said to me, there's no such a thing. You said to me, you said to me, we are Sunni. Listen, let, let me remind you, let me remind you of what you, let me remind you of what you said. Let me remind you of what you said. You said there's no such a thing. We are Muslim Sunni. I said, is this in the Quran? You said, no. I said, I will sh I'll show you. I said, show me. So now you agreed. Even in Shia, even in Shia, they, even even Muta you are talking about, there is a consent. You have to understand. That. Okay, can you explain? Even, can you explain to the people who they are listening what Muta is? Muta is a temporary marriage, as my understanding. I'm not what, is that, what, 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 what is that? What does that mean? What does that mean? There's a contract between the man and the woman that even in there is, I believe there was children. The man will be responsible. It's not like having an adultery in Western civilization. There kind of there is agreement between. And oh. there's, uh, but even in that scenario, there is a consent. Oh. Let me. And also, let me. my understanding, there is conditions. Even in Shia, even in Shia, there is conditions for what are to be uh, accomplished. But what is what is the uh, what is the condition? What is the Orthodox Islam point of view? It is not practiced. It's not there. We have something called misyar, jawazul misyar, uh -huh. meaning the woman she can ask. Let me let me explain. Okay. Even in Sunnah, like in Saudi Arabia or in Muslim and Sunni countries, we have something called misyar. But even in misyar, which is it might sound like muta, but it's not. Even if the woman changed her mind and she asked for all her right as a wife, even after after the marriage happened, even about I'm speaking about misyar marriage. She, she can ask the man for all her rights as a wife. Mm. So if you want to throw at me, she has stuff. We have a huge difference between Sunnah and Shia, especially when it comes to this uh, Muta thing. It's, we, we don't have it. We don't practice it. It's not there. Okay, just let, let, us, let us hear again what you said. You said that uh, yeah. uh, you if you hire a woman for sex, and if she, no. if you, yeah, this is hire for sex. This, <laughs> This is higher for sex. You 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 know you pay her the condition the condition. Okay, what is the is it true? You have to pay her wages. The condition is the following. The con the condition. Okay, correct me. Correct me if I, no 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 not gift. It's a money. So correct me if I'm wrong. You have to pay her wages. The Quran says ujurahun wages. Number two, there is a there is a time which means you say to her, I will be with you for an hour, two hours, a day, two days, etc. We don't have it in Sunni Orthodox Islam. In in in, in Orthodox Islam, we don't have such thing. Are you sure? It was, it was, so what your what your prophet what your prophet what your prophet said about the muta? According to, as, as long you are saying to me, you know, yeah. we don't have such a thing. I have discussed, I have discussed this with someone who's Shia for before. No, no, your prophet, your prophet. I don't want. I'm not talking about Shia. I'm talking your prophet, your prophet. What, what your prophet said about what your prophet said about Muta? Do you know the first time the Muta happened? 
you know, I don't care. I'm asking you what your prophet said about mut'ah. Okay. Should, should I tell you? Should, because you want to speak about this stuff. I, uh -huh. wanna, uh, I can tell you about it. Though. Okay. It happened when the Muslims were uh, asking the Prophet about uh, giving agreement or approval to do such a uh, relationship which is not practice, practically is, uh, like marriage. Even even in back then, it wasn't with the uh, Muhassanat or people who were like, it was with people who are like, uh, um, like what you call them, the right possession or whatever. False. It wasn't, and even, even in that scenario. False, that, yeah, false. The women, the women who you are right hand, don't lie. The women who you are right possessed, you told me already you can have sex with her. You not need to pay her. You own her already. You pay her what? You own her. So how you will pay her? You will pay someone you own? You are, you are fooling yourself. Now listen, 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 listen. What your prophet said about muta? What your prophet said about muta? How you practice muta according to your prophet? Muta, well, it's not in the Sunni Orthodox. Again, I keep repeating. So are you saying your prophet, your prophet did not speak about it? The revelation did not uh, did not finish back then. When it happened, the revelation, as my understanding, it wasn't completed yet. Ah, uh, so what do you mean? That, so the revelation complete after Muhammad died? No, not after. So what do you mean not completed? What, what, do, what do you mean? What do you mean not completed? We are talking now in the uh, 14 centuries after Muhammad. So now, what your after Muhammad now is dead? What your prophecy about Muta? You're only talking about Shia. This I'm talking about you. I'm not talking to you, my friend. You keep talking about, you keep saying Shia. I never, I never mentioned the word. I know you are a Sunni. I'm talking to you as a Sunni. So I'm asking you as a Sunni. I'm asking you as a Sunni. What your prophet said about Muta as a Sunni. Stop saying the word Shia. I'm not giving you anything. I'm asking you. You said to me the revelation at that time was not complete. It looked like something missing. Tell me. Don't 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 change topic. Don't change topic. God, you know, first first of all, first of all, listen, listen, listen. You see, you are mixing you are mixing things up. According to your prophet, they are not. Hold on. According to your prophet, they are ninety nine. However. According to the Bible, God never said to him to marry any of them. This is his own sin, and this is why the, the Bible condemn his sin. So we can show you tons of verses. Don't change topic. Don't change topic. God said in the Bible, don't multiply. God said in the Bible, don't multiply your wife. So he disobey God. He is not even a good man. And God, he condemn him for doing even even David. He uh, God caused him to he he, he caused his he caused his son to die because of his sin. You do not know the Bible. So now here we have your prophet promoting muta. You go to a Muslim woman. You say to her, I want to give you some fruit or some clothing, panty, underwear. You know, uh, you, you take off your clothes. She say yes. What kind of religion this religion is? In America, in America, uh -huh. the Christians crusades who went from Europe to free the Native Americans, they used to force American slaves to fuck their own mothers. This is how the motherfucker insult started. Well, th you thank, you, thank you, thank you for, thank you for speaking. Know. See, 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 hold on, hold on. So you see, guys, you see, hold on, hold on. Listen, listen, filthy, filthy mouth. You just showed your skin because I put you in the corner. You are saying to me now the F word. However, what if I show you that your prophet allow you to F your mother legally? The mic is yours. Okay, in the front of everybody, in the front of everybody, what is the punishment of F in your mother in Islam? The mic is yours. What Islam you are I'm asking you. Don't tell me what Islam. I'm asking you. The question is yours. The mic is yours. Take your time. What is? Show me the penalty. Show me the penalty. Okay, hold on. I'm asking you, my friend. Listen. Don't get angry. Relax. Relax. You are the one who says shahada. You want to debate me? Here we go. You are here. Get, the mic is yours. Can you show me the reference? It says if somebody did have sex with his mother, there is a penalty for him. And what is the penalty? We're not allowed to sleep with our... Can you show me where it says? Can you show me what is the penalty? I'm not sure if it's there in the Quran. It's either in the Quran is or there any, is it, common sense, is, is it anywhere? Uh, 
What what is your Muslim Sunni, Sunni sect? It's there, yeah. It's there in the Quran. What is what is known in the Quran? There is no penalty. I'm asking you, what is the penalty? No, it is not allowed, man. It's not allowed. Okay, what is your Muslim Sunni sect? Um, I'm just normal Sunni man. If I you don't have a sect? Okay, the Muslim Sunni are four. Do you agree with the four Muslim Sunni sect? Something I'm not very expert. All right, so you are a Hanafi. All right, so you are a Hanafi. The Imam Abu Hanifa he said that the man who have sex with his mother, even though she is not lawful for him, there is no penalty for him. What? Really? What say you? Yes. Person. I am very, I am, I am very. Listen, I when I when a Christian prince he speak ignorant days they, they go mute. I'm asking you, is it true what I said or it's a lie? Listen, listen. You're talking to someone whose name is Osama. 9 11 happened when I was a kid. I don't care. This is not my business now. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Here we go. Don't change the topic. 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 Here we go. This is your Imam Abi Hunifa saying it clearly that the man who have sex with his mother, there is no penalty for that. Okay. So the man who have sex with uh, non, uh, um, with his, his with his mother with his mother with his mother. Ah, really? Uh huh. What really? Uh, well, it's it's very funny Islam you have. Can you can you give me the resources? I want to join this. Islam. Okay, the book name is Al Mabsut Lis Sarkasi. Al Al Kitab Al Mabsut Al Kitab Al Mabsut Volume number Volume number nine, page number eighty five. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm gonna uh, let's let's see. Send me that Islam you have. Let me join it so I will be having intercourse and enjoying my life every day in my life. It is very well, this is what Islam is about. You can marry a woman every five seconds. What are you talking about, Muta? It's very nice. You can have sex with your mother. You can have sex with your mother. You, you can have you can have sex with your mother. Listen. Okay. We all men, we all men, we are all predators in a way or another. This is this is not the question. We are talking about we are not talking about you as a man. I'm talking about your religion. I'm not talking about you, about me. Do you think I'm if Allah if Allah or my God or our God don't permission? Don't don't change don't change the top don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Do you think I would be against it? Oh listen, this is you know what's wrong with you? You said to me, Islam teach you, okay, but as you see, as you see in your religion, in your religion, you can have sex with your mother with no penalty. The Quran says it's, it's not lawful for you to have sex with your mother and your daughters, but if you have sex, it's okay, no penalty. I'm not Jew, man. I'm not Jew. We don't marry our sisters. We don't marry... Well, read, read with me. Here we go. Read with me. This is... You speak Arabic. Translate. Translate, please. Can you trans? Can you translate? Can you translate? Can you translate? Can you translate what I'm showing in the screen? Can you translate? Can you translate what I'm showing in the screen, please? Correct me if I'm wrong. Can you translate what I am showing in the screen? Can you translate what I am showing in the screen? Can you translate what I am showing in the screen? Is it true? It says that the one who have the one who if his mother. It is. We don't have Talmudic stuff. Okay, you are talking to a Sunni Muslim. I don't have something hidden in my. This is Sunni. This is Hanafi. This is Imam Hanafi. This is Hanafi. I asked you, what is the Muslim sect? You said to me, the first one you mentioned, you mentioned Hanafi. You mentioned that, so I get you from the Hanafi. So now, it's, uh huh. To F her, to F her, to F her, to F her. <laughs> No, nikaha means effort, not fatwa. No, this is to step on her, to jump on her like a donkey because Islam is very rude religion. Uh, it's in front of you, yeah. I'm talking about uh, walking above, uh, like, I don't know. No, to F a woman, to F a woman, it says, When the one who marry a woman, she is not lawful for him to F her.
and he effed her, then there is no penalty for him if he do that. It's in front of you. Tell everybody. You know what? I'm going to take this stuff you have. I'm going to start having more fun in my life, apparently. This is a very interesting Islam you have. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go Let through. me show you more. Let me show you more. Let me show you more. Even in the Quran, even in the Quran, even in the Quran, listen, listen, even in the Quran, it says, if you have a daughter from adultery, you can have sex with your daughter and her mother, and there's no penalty. Oh my God. Really? Yeah. What else, what else I can do in Islam? Huh? Please entertain us more. Okay, here we go. I'm going to entertain you. Chapter 25, verse number 54. Can you read the interpretation for me? It's like uh, break, uh, what you call this Game of Thrones now. Can you read? Can you give me the interpretation? Can you read the interpretation for this verse for me? Can you? Uh -huh. Okay. Read the interpretation. Okay. What this verse is about? What this verse is about? doesn't. Okay, you explain to me. I, this is like uh, when he, uh, as you're telling me to explain uh, 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 what you call this original uh, Arabic uh, languages. I don't know how to explain it to you. I need to know the context. Really? Uh, okay, here we go. Okay. I will show you the context. Here's, here we go. This is your okay. this is your Islamic website. Okay, Christian, Christian brands. Okay, listen to me. It's forget it's about Christian. Forget about it's Christian brands. Forget it's about Christian brands, Mr. Shahada. This is Al Qurtubi. This is Al Qurtubi saying it clearly that in Islam you can have sex with your daughter and your mother, even though they are not. Let us see. Let me show you. Okay. Uh, can I kill my mama? Can I kill my mom and my daughter? Can you what? Do you have this in Islam? Can you what? Can I murder? Can I murder? Don't change. Don't change topic. Don't change topic, please. Are you? Are you? Are you a, are you a kid? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you a kid? Are you a kid? I'm, I'm putting you in a position. Okay, so I'm asking you now. I'm asking you, my friend. I'm asking you. Chapter 25, verse number 54. Can you read for me the interpretation of Al Qurtubi? Is that okay? Which one? For, for, uh, 25, 54. 25, 54. I will put it for you on the screen. Here we go. And you're supposed to you know Arabic. Does it say does it does it say does it say that you can have sex with your daughter from your blood just because she is a daughter from fornication? Read carefully. قال ابن العربي النسب عبارة عن خلط الماء بين الذكر والأنثى على وجه الشرع فإن كان بمعصية كان خلقا مطلقا ولم يكن نسبا محققا ولذلك لم يدخل تحت قوله حرمت عليكم أمهاتكم وبناتكم بنته من الزنا لأنها ليست ببنت له فيها صح القولين لعلمائنا وصح القولين في الدين وإذا لم يكن نسب شرعا فلا صهر شرعا فلا يحرم الزنا بنت أم ولا أم بنت وما يحرم من الحلال so now look what happened guys it says clearly if a man if a man hold on listen you, you want to translate Go ahead, translate. Okay, so does it say, does it say, does it say it's not haram to have sex with your daughter if she is not a daughter from marriage? Does it say that or Christian Prince is lying? Listen. Listen what? Does it, does it say, does it say so or not? Okay, let me speak. Whoever is listening this chat, I really enjoy this kind of Islam that he's telling you guys. What, what kind of Islam? This is your this is your this is your official this is your official government website of Saudi Arabia and this is Al Qurtubi and this is the Quran. I'm telling Islam now. <laughs> whoever, here, he, whoever is in this uh, group, I, I swear to God, if Allah if Islam allows me to have this much freedom in my life. I won't be against it, but in general, I, I'm not going to uh, 
into my mom and my sister or my daughter. <laughs> I would maybe go into I would maybe go into others, you know, in general. But Islam doesn't allow me. It's okay, I, uh, but I'm show, I'm showing the reference. Here we go. Please post in YouTube. Everybody, please in your Discord. Post in YouTube. Post in Rumble. Post everywhere. Let everybody translate. And did I lie? You speak Arabic. It's in the front of you. It is you who mentioned if in the mother. So in Islam, in human trafficking, you if even your mother, your daughter, it says in the front of you, it's not a problem if you if the the mother and her daughter, which is your daughter. This is your religion. I'm enjoying this. I, I'm sure you do. To go to a level. To go to a level which telling you it's like it, adultery is haram in Islam, but when it's a when big fat lie, Islam is religion of adultery. What what are you talking? What are you talking about, guys? Islam is against adultery, is it? You, you said to me, I'm Shia, I'm Shia, I'm Shia. Is it your prophet? He is it your prophet? He said you can rent a woman for three days, three nights, and if you like to increase, you can increase. I'm not Shia, I told you. I am not so, talking about Shia, I'm talking about Sunni. <laughs> he keeps saying to me, I'm not Shia. This is your prophet, and this is this is the Aif Hadith. This is this is the Aif Hadith. This is the Aif Hadith saying. Here we go. It says that the messenger of Allah. So you don't accept the Aif? You don't accept the Aif? Yeah? Of course not. Of course not. I do accept. This is Al-Bukhari. How it can be the Aif? Al-Bukhari. <laughs> well, I, I was joking with you. I'm trying to help you. You like it now. You're stuck with it. This is Al Bukhari. Al Bukhari is not naive. Allah Messenger said, if a man and a woman agree to do boom boom, not marry. The word marry in the hadith is not there. It says Ishra to f each other. Their 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 relationship lasts for three days, three nights. If they like to continue, they can do so. If they like to separate, they can do so. So Islam is a religion of fornication. Don't tell me Islam is against adultery. Ali made it clear that Prophet said the Mut'a marriage has been cancelled. Show me, show me, guys. Hold on, hold on. Ali made it clear. Ali, Ali is the Ali is the Ali is the prophet. Ali is the prophet of Islam. Secondly, no, Ali did not make it clear, and all those That's are why. false. Listen, okay. listen, listen, That's listen. That's why he didn't allow me. That's why he didn't allow me to tell you the story, which it happens the first time. Well, why, why you don't, why you don't want to read the story in the front of us here? You're not, you're not giving the chance because you, I believe you know the story, but you're just okay. trying to. Tell Islam that you want to sell it. This is the one you are making business out of it. This is your, uh, you, I don't know the people. Uh, let, just, let me tell you, go report this to whoever, whoever is above you, the one who's owning this channel, your uh, funding or whatever. Yeah, the CIA, CIA, yeah, Mossad, the Mossad. The Mossad, let me announce to you, let me announce to you who, so, who, who fund me, the Mossad, the Mossad. Netanyahu, hello, Net I don't know. hello, hold on. Hold, hold on, hold on, just give me, just give me a minute. I, I, I'm receiving a, a call from Netanyahu, I hold on. Hello? Christian Prince, first of all, did Netanyahu, did the Zakonaik? Zakonaik, I thought, so what your line is says Netanyahu? Because in Gaza right now, October 7, we stole his phone and I got his phone. Because what the heck, you stole the phone of Netanyahu? What do you found it? We found it in the, in the, in the, in the infant, we kidnapped him. The infant, you kidnapped him? Is it halal in Islam to kidnap infant? Good implants. First of all, those are the infant of the enemy, and they are Jewish. So we can kidnap them, we can rape them. MashaAllah, brother, this is an amazing religion. So I, so this is Zachary Naik. I mean, this is not a nice prank of you. Are you Netanyahu? Come on, change your voice. Speak to me. Like, come on. There's no way Zachary Naik got your phone. Good implants. First of all, I got even the phone of the Mr. Trump. Even Trump, he got his phone. I got the phone of Ivanka. Like you got the phone of everybody. Did you get the phone of Prophet Muhammad? Be careful. You will find a lot of naked pictures of the children's. Zakarnaik, be aware of that. Christian Prince. First of all, Prophet Muhammad, he never stayed with Aisha at the age of maturity. And he was a little bit sure. Aisha, she was mature at the age of six. Exactly. 
And uh, the friend here who was talking to me, he said, when you have sex in Islam, you have to consent. Like the women, she have to agree. Did Aisha agree? Grit and breath. First of all, her father agree. Like, what, what? Aisha, she is the one who will get boom, boom. Not the father. I mean, did Muhammad, if the father or the girl, grit and breath. If the father, he got approved it, you can't have the daughter. So it's very simple in Islam. You don't need it to bring it to bring it. We go to the money. Zakarnaik, too much curry. May Allah bless you. We go back to you. Don't cry. So, did your prophet practice muta? And he allow you to rent women? Yes or no? He did. You said to me, it's forbidden. Show me the verse in the Quran. Go ahead. The has been canceled. Show me the verse in the show me the verse in the Quran. I showed you the verse in the Quran says it is not. If Muhammad received a command from Allah to cancel the muta, show it to me. I don't memorize the Quran by heart. And you must understand. I don't care, no problem. Don't realize it by heart. Did I ask you if you're I don't memorize the Quran by heart, not even by by, by foot. You know, listen. So, okay, let's, speak, let's speak about the adulterous story when people brought uh, adulterers to Jesus peace upon him and you know that the story is not authentic but anyhow I'm gonna talk about this so okay no problem understand no problem in the case in, in the case of Jesus adulterer adulterer will be stoned but those because those hypocrite they are bringing the women alone where is the man there's no man so they are judging the poor women but they let the man go obviously he's rich so Jesus, because he is God, he said to her, I will not judge you, but commit no sin, no more. Your God, he encouraged you to commit sin. Your God encouraged you to do prostitution. Your God legalized prostitution, as you see. Your religion is a religion of pimps. I really wouldn't mind if God allows me that because uh, I. Okay, well, already you mean. No, you said. Don't, isn't it your religion? Uh, isn't it your religion allow you to order your wife to give to give her breast to her neighbor? Okay, well, let, let us speak about Mother Jesus. And no, listen, listen. Is it true? Is it true? Is it true? Is it true? Because you Muslim, you see, you came in my chat, you start saying shahada. I want to see how much shahada you have. Witness, witness. Okay, go ahead, witness. So I want you to witness for us. Is it true? Did you witness? Did you witness any Muslim women giving her breast to her neighbor? Uh, uh, what, what do you want more? Uh, apparently, Islam. I'm asking you. Don't change topic. Don't, 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 don't dodge. Don't dodge my question. Am I lying if I say? That you Muslims approve your wife oh, to give her books. You and uh, Shiwawa, what's his name? Uh, <laughs> you and Jonathan uh, Peterson, or whoever you guys report to, <laughs> and don't lie to them. Tell them that we cannot de defeat Islam in a proper way. So we have to keep lying about Islam. So are you saying to me? So are you saying? Are you saying to me? So okay. So are you saying to me? Uh, listen, listen, you keep talking. Hold on. Let me give you a second. So are you saying to me you will defeat us by ordering your wife to give her boobs to me? Is that how you defeat us? Are you serious? What your chain topic? Either tell them he's lying. This is not true. Listen. Let's speak about the Bible. No, don't change topic. Don't change. Is it true? Is it true that you're... Is it true? Is it true? Is it true? Venus. It speaks about donkey Venus and people getting uh, no more kind of adultery. They just get lost. You are just a kid. Shadu Allah illa 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 Muhammad Allah dulu 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 Women, she wore burqa and gloves. You cannot see her face, but you cannot play with her boobs. So is it true or a Christian prince is lying? The mic is yours. Her own mother Mary painting, she wears hijab a veil, and a veil. You guys want to act as if you, you... What Aisha she used to wear? Here we go. Guys, he opened the topic of a veil. What Aisha and the wives of Muhammad used to wear, the mic is yours. <laughs> in Italy, they tried to ban him. Listen, listen. 
We can ban whatever we want and why we want to ban them. The easiest way to find a terrorist is to allow them to dress as they like. So it's not even smart to ban the hijab. I will never do it if I'm the president. Don't change topic. Is it true that your prophet wives, the Sahaba used to lock at their ass and even they used to sleep in their house when nobody home alone? The mic is yours. It's very interesting, as I said, it's very interesting Islam you have. Well, uh, prove I'm me wrong, prove wrong. me wrong, here we go, prove me wrong. The, 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 the hijab you mentioned, the hijab you mentioned, the chapter of the hijab, you said women, Muslim women wear hijab, but Muslim women, they wear hijab, but they, they, they give their breast. And not only that, the hijab itself is made by Umar, not by Allah. Omar ibn Khattab, he used to spy at your prophet wife, her name is Sauda. Each time she go out to do poo-poo, he go behind her and he whispered to her, says, hey, Sauda, <laughs> I know you, Araf Makiya, Sauda. So he is the one who said to Muhammad, force them to cover themselves, man, they go naked outside. Is that correct? What I'm trying to say, apparently, is, is Islam that you is it, are is it true? Is it true or not what I am saying? So now you're talking about the Quran or the Hadith now? Both. What, what you about? <laughs> Both. <laughs> you okay, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me show you something more <laughs> funny about Islam. Do you know, guys, in Islam, if this guy, his wife, she stepped with the neighbor, the son of his neighbor, which is him fornicating with his wife, he is going to inherit his house? Can you believe it? This is how stupid this religion is. <laughs> your wife, she sleep around. She make babies from your enemies, and then your enemies, they inherit your money. Is that correct, Osama, or I'm lying? What the fuck is you, man? Well, what kind of drugs you guys do? Well, I, I, prove me wrong. Don't, don't stop using that. You see, I'm allowing you to stay even though you are using the bad words because I want to show people how... how in, in fucking France... Uh, just shut up. Yeah, filthy. Go, go clean your mouth with camel urine. Muta boy, get out of here. I gave you more than a chance to fix your fi f f uh, uh, farting mouth. Filthy. According to Islam, you guys, I'm going to convert to Islam. Your wife, she sleep with the neighbor. She make baby from the neighbor. The neighbor, he tell his wife, hey, listen, we name him Abdul. And then this Abdul later, who is your son, you step with his wife. And then he inherit the, the other Abdul. I mean, what a reward. According to Islam, it doesn't matter who, if your wife, excuse my language, the child who is born in your bed is your son. Is your son. Whoever owned the bed the son is his son. So you discover that your wife is a whore. She sleep with everybody. Who is the father? The one who owned the bed. Not the one who had sex with her. Do you see it? This is a religion. <laughs> this is a religion. So now not only your neighbor did boom boom to your wife and he made fun of you, your neighbor's son is going to take your money. Money, money, money. You know? So in Islam, if you want to really destroy a person, your enemy, you sleep with his wife and then you take all his money. Huh? Go, go, uh, 
816. I don't have time for you. You are just a kid, an idiot. <laughs> Am I lying, Abdul? <laughs> any uh, any Abdul can can get me busted. Is it true that if your wife she screw your neighbor, your neighbor will screw you, and he take your money? Yes or no? Any brave Abdul from Ramble? Any brave Abdul from YouTube? Connect me? You want to connect? You don't know anything about Islam. You know, you're just a kid. I don't think if you're a Muslim, I think you're a, you're a fake boy boy. You come to the microphone, you can say to me, it doesn't say that. But you never say anything real, you know? Okay, put your hand up again. I will give you a chance. Put your hand up. Hmm. All right. Go ahead. So, does it say so? Mike is yours. <clears throat> what was your question again? So you want to join me, but you do not know the question. No, I was, I was having something good. Uh, I was just listening. Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> just get lost. Don't play with Christian Prince. We'll smash you. Don't 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 come here. I have no time for kids. Go check the bedroom. Your your wife she is doing something with the neighbor. She is teaching him how to use the computer. But this is why she have to sit in her in his lap. The keyboard is so small. Don't come here. Don't come here. Don't come here. Just get out. Don't bring him, guys. I want I want real people to talk to. This is a religion. The wife she gave her boobs to the neighbor. The wife she sleep with the neighbor. Now you discover. Look, not only that, Muhammad, uh, uh, he told them in the Quran, you have to bring for witnesses. <laughs> for what? For witnesses. <laughs> so a Muslim Abdul, who already he knew his wife is sleeping around. He said to the Prophet. Okay, so if I found my wife doing boom boom with someone, should I give him, ask him to stay for some time until I bring for witnesses? The prophet said yes. <laughs> That's a religion, brother. That is the religion of the true God. Only true God can come with those things, brother. Who can come with such a miracle? Sa'ad ibn Ubadah said to the Messenger of Allah, what do you think if I find my wife with the man? Hmm? What do you think? Should I give him some time until I bring for witnesses? The big Abdul Muhammad said yes. So now a Muslim, he go to his house. He, find four, he found one man or two men having sex with his wife. He never knows. She's so angry. <laughs> She is very angry. <laughs> and now, listen. Uh, guys, guys, can you please keep going? Keep going. No, no, sorry for interrupting. I need to go and bring four, four witnesses, okay? Uh, not only that, the four witnesses, they have to see the penis of the man going in and out, the same as the pen go in the inkwell. Not only they bring four and they see them on top of each other. No, 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 no. Even if you bring 10,000 and they are both naked and they are in the top of each other and he's going up and down or she's going up and down. Doesn't matter what the position. As long as they did not see his penis going in and out in her vagina, there's no proof of fornication. You can search right now in Google about the story of four witnesses Three of them, they saw the penis in and out. Number four, he said, 
I saw her legs around his neck were shaking like a running donkey. The caliphate did beat them all because there's no proof. <laughs> this is Islam. <laughs> so if a woman, she is wearing her skirt and she is having sex with the man, let us say, for excuse me, she is sitting in the top of him. Nobody can see his penis. No way. She's, I mean, they have to see the penis in and out, not his penis only. They have to see the penis going in and out, slow motion. And four of them, they have to see. So now the story is saying that the three, they saw the penis going in and out. One, he said, I did not see the penis going in and out, but I saw her legs, her feet around his neck, and they were shaking like the, like, like, like the ears of a donkey. The caliphate, he did beat them all. For there's no proof. That is Islam.